I'm going to show you the VAT tax configuration and some postings in SAP Esfarana. My name is Dun Dias, and I have been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. We are doing a full life cycle implementation based in finance and controlling here in this channel. So please don't forget, subscribe this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. As we finished our configuration for taxes, we created the tax codes. I was not doing a video demonstrating how to create everything because then would be a long video. So in the previous video, I showed how to create the tax codes. Then I create some offline. And now I'm going to show the master data or I would say the configuration of those VAT codes. And then we simulate postings just to see the posting schema, how is going to happen. And now, without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the IMG menu. So just to refresh your memory, just in case you forgot how to go to this transaction. So we go to financial accounting and then Financial accounting, global settings, and then uh, tax and sales purchasing calculation. And then here, this is where I created the tax codes and some were already in this system for to showing how to do it. So basically here, we start for from vendors, which means input tax. Okay, so I have another screen where I have a document. We can go, I have a document part, so we can do some magic to change everything just to get the configuration, just to get, to change everything, just to get the, the tax details. Let me just put my screen there. So basically I'm not going to show any transaction for the time being, but we are going to see uh, what is going on. So now I go here and I'm going to change my part document okay and then what we we are going to see simulate to see the u1 so the u1 means that my my vendor is i'm going to pay under 19 euros to my vendor and then my piano accounts my costs is going to be 100 euros and then for the tax is going to be 19. Yes, pretty simple. This is what we have input tax and then 19. Okay. So now let's see another scenario. Why two? So in this scenario, it's a, it's a purchasing that I'm doing in the, um, in the European Union. Basically, uh, I would say I'm in Germany. I'm buying something for France. Okay. Let's see what is the tax. What is the so now we change here? Why do enter and then we simulate again? Okay, now if you see here, uh, I'm uh, I'm sending for my cost account exactly the same amount, even though I'm I'm putting here uh, um, credit and debt debit and credit my tax account because I'm not paying to EU, but I have to show in the tax report. So we have the input and then we have the acquisition of tax credit, okay? This is how we make the configuration here in Europe, it, one of the, the ways to do it. And this is the posting schema when I buy things uh, within European countries. Okay, let's go back again and try another VAT code. If you are enjoying this video as me doing it for you, please make a like to us. Yeah! We appreciate. Now let's go back to three. So uh, input tax non-deductible. 
So I'm using here 19% non-deductible, okay? So we go again to our document and then we go for A3, Y3, sorry. And then I'm going to simulate. So when we do the simulation, I see the, the tax code here, Y3. Of, of course, there is no VAT accounts, okay? Because we are not uh, paying taxes, okay? But we need this, we need when we do it, the, the declaration, the tax declaration, we need the base, okay? For the tax, for the declaration, for this. So that's why we need to insert here Y3 and then we have the base. Okay, let's go to the next example. Go back, one more step. And then we go for Y4. If, if this video is being useful for you, please leave some notes in the comments. This is something for Italy where I have an input tax and, and um and the tax credit that we are going to see a very nice posting, very strange that is not very used to see this. And I was checking in my client and I think, okay, it's good to show this, this one. So let's see again. And um, why for it's nice to see. Let's go and explain this on the next screen. So why for? We still have our under 19, but please check now for the costs of the company. Okay. The PL account, I have under 41. What does it mean? It means that there was somehow a law that came. Okay. And they said, okay, now for this process, you need to start to paying taxes, but the, the vendor is not uh, going to receive more money. In this case, we can see that now, uh, the amount is the same, okay, and 19, but we have the input tax that we can deduct from, from us. So, but is a cost for the company, we do the deduction, but in the end is a, is a cost for deduction because it's summing up the, the cost account and not reducing to the cost account. This is something particularly for Italy, and don't be afraid, but it's nice to see uh, different teams. Let's go again for the next option that I prepared here for this video. Next option, Y5. Y5 is another way to do purchasing in the uh, European Union, okay? This is uh, something coming from uh, uh, Germany uh, tax codes configuration. And we are going to see which is quite similar with one that we saw it already, just the configuration is different. But in the end, it is the same posting schema. Y5. And now I'm going to simulate. And if you see, I get credit and debit for the VAT. Okay. If we see here, we have the 7%. Okay. So basically, we have this these base amounts, one is uh, under 19 and another is 8.33. This is another way to make uh, a VAT posting. Now we are just seeing the input VAT taxes. I want to show an example for the, the output taxes. And I'm, I'm going to use the same document because I did some adulteration to the, to the, to the gel account. I can show you after. So uh, basically, I can see there this one output. Okay. So when we sell to our uh, clients, 19%. So it is A1. And then I'm going to the system. And I'm going to choose A1, enter. And then I simulate just having a warning message. And the ADC is an output tax for a vendor is not normal, but why this was possible? Because I made some changes in the master data of the of this account. 
So if we see quickly the master data of these accounts, so basically here in the control data, I removed and I put the tax category put all instead of what was there was um, uh, output tax on it. So, so then I could so that I could do the simulation. Now we have just seen the configuration of VAT codes and then their posting schema. So in your client, when you are doing the project, uh, please get first before you do anything, what is the posting schema for the VATs, okay? And then you can go for the system and make the configuration. Thanks for watching this video as part of the full life cycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. You can find next video in the description of this one. Please subscribe this channel to get new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.